I am so grateful and excited that you guys decided to click on this video because I have a Dollar Tree haul plus a few DIYs that you're not going to want to miss. Hi guys, my name's Melissa. Welcome back to All Things Crafty or welcome if you are new. Again, I am so grateful that you're here. I would love if you would stick around and become part of my crafty family. I am pregnant currently with my third technically my fourth because I do have a stepson who I consider my own but this is my third um, baby that I carried myself and it is a boy I have two girls six almost two and now I am pregnant with baby boy and I have a huge goal of getting to 100k by the time he's here in October and I cannot do that without your help so please share this out hit that thumbs up and let's jump right in. I do have them like kind of categorized for you guys. That way we're not just grabbing at random. Um, but I am going to start with all of the new wood stuff that I found at Crafter Square and then we'll get into like the school supply stuff. And yes, it is school supplies, but just stick with me because I promise you I have some really good ideas for them. The first item that I picked up, now I have seen a lot of people haul these. I have also hauled the flat ones. So these are kind of raised around the edges, which I absolutely love. And it's real wood and then it's got the chalkboard. I did see the ones with the dry erase. I'm just not a big fan of those. So I did go ahead and pick up four of the chalkboard houses. Now Dollar Tree is really impressing me with their wood items. Of course you can go to Home Depot. I'm sure you can find this stuff a lot cheaper, but a lot of you guys I know don't have saws, don't have anything to cut down your wood. So this is an amazing option if you need wood to build a frame or to do whatever it is that you're gonna do and you just don't wanna cut. Um, they have a bunch of amazing sizes, so a lot of things that you can do without a saw. That's why I love these. Um, I don't always want to pull out a saw. But anyway, these are 12 inch chunky slats, and I did pick up four of them. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure if that's what I'll do. Um, but again, I love, love having these on hand. Now this item is not new, but I just used these in my last video where I made this amazing porch sign and it had a little planner box at the bottom. It's so cute. If you did not see that video, I will link it in the cards in the right hand corner for you guys. That way, it should be right here. Um, I'll link it in the right hand corner that way if you guys have not seen that video, trust me, you don't want to miss it. But I did use these. It just says wood plank boards. Let me measure for you guys. There's baby boy. So weird, my belly is shaped so differently from my girls. It's just like really strange because in my mind, I thought like the pregnancies would be so similar and they're just not, they're complete polar opposite. But I'm so thankful for the experience. I'm thankful that I got to experience a boy pregnancy. I never forget that there are people out there who are not as lucky. So anyway, all right, so these are 11, 11, by five and a half, which I feel for real wood, I mean, it's cheap wood. It's not the best wood in the world. World. It has a lot of flaws. One side of it is super um, rough while the other side is smooth. So just keep that in mind. But I mean, you guys, for a dollar and a quarter, what do you really expect, you know? <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. All right, there we go. By five and a half. So I thought I picked up four, but I guess I only picked up three of those. I'll have to, I don't like that, uneven numbers. <laughs> My kids were with me this day and they were being crazy. So everybody keeps asking me about my hair. How did I put it up? Y'all, it's so easy. You just part it wherever you want to part it. You twist it around a few times. You don't want to twist it too much because then you won't get that little poof you're looking for. 
So then I just kind of twist it around like that. Hold it in place. Clip it and call it a day. Still going to do that thing. Oh well. I just got my hair cut so it's all weird. Anyway, moving on to the next item. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. My hauls are more of like a hangout session. Yes, I buy the items to show you guys, but I more so just like to chat. I like to hang with you guys. So with that in mind, if that's not your cup of tea, I totally understand it. I have plenty of DIY videos for you guys to check out. So the next items that I picked up are these new wood plaques. Now I have a feeling that I, I think these are from last year at Halloween. Don't quote me, but I don't know. I just like, when I picked them up, something flashed in my mind from last year at fall time. And I could only find one of each. They're such a different size than the bigger ones that I wanted to get a few of them. But for now, I found one of each. That's good enough. This kind of reminds me of like mirror, mirror on the wall, you know? <laughs> and then this one, even this one kind of reminds me of that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What does this remind you of? But I thought they were super cute, so picked up one of each. And then y'all, I have been searching high and low for these. My store never got them in until the other day when I saw them. So I picked up three packs each. There was plenty on the shelf. I do try to be mindful of like leaving items for other people. I don't ever want to clear out a store and take the last and then other people can't find this stuff. So when I grab, I always make sure that there's some leftover. So anyway, I picked up the wood rings. Whoa. <laughs> And they come in two different sizes. So this one is the smaller version. And the smaller ones come with six in a pack. So I picked up, like I said, three of those. And then the bigger ones only come with five in a pack. So I picked up three of those as well. Now we're getting down to the wire with the craft items, but I think this is a good deal. Again, I have seen people haul these. My store never got these in. I have a ton of wood beads. So I more so just picked these up to haul them. And I also kind of want to compare them from the wood bead, from the unfinished wood beads that I get off Amazon. So. I'll let you guys know what I find, but I only found one pack of these in my store. So I did pick those up. And it's got a variety of different beads in it, which I can appreciate. Especially if you don't want to go buying a whole big pack. Um, this is perfect. Okay, guys, and then the last two craft items that I picked up are the faux leather. Now, if you guys remember, I did haul the navy blue and the white. I don't think I hauled this color. I don't know, you guys can let me know. My pregnancy brain ain't the best, so I wouldn't be surprised if I did haul it and just don't remember. But if I remember correctly, I don't think that I found the brown one. So I did find it, I picked it up. I think it's such a gorgeous color. Okay, so the last item that I picked up is this burlap crafting fabric. I've never seen this before. I've seen burlap ribbon, but I've never seen it in the Crafters Square um, brand. And I have never seen it this size either. It's probably like a two inch, three inch. Yep, three inches. So um, they had like a whole bin and they were kind of tucked. Like I'm glad that I was really looking good because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have found them. And they were where like all the colorful beads and all that kind of stuff was down on the bottom shelf. So you guys might just want to look there if you're looking for these. I picked up two rolls of the burlap fabric. 
Okay, now we're gonna move on to the school supplies and I am so impressed with Dollar Tree school supplies. They have really stepped up their game. The quarter increase was amazing. I actually heard people in the store talking about it. They were like, I'm not so mad about the quarter increase now because they really have good items. And I was just chuckling in my head because it's true, they do have a lot better items. Now they do still have items that are not worth a dollar 25. So you just kind of you just kind of got to weigh your options and and see if you feel it's worth it or not. So anyway, the first thing I picked up was a locker rug and I did not even realize that it was a locker rug until I just pulled it out. I honestly thought that it was like a pencil case or something. So I picked up one of those and um, yeah, I probably won't use this for a locker rug, obviously, but you know what my thought was for this. This would make an amazing like dust rag or washcloth or I was thinking dish, um, <gasps> oh my goodness, come on brain, let's go. I was thinking a cleaning rag, a dust rag. So that's what I'm gonna use mine for if I can get to it before my kids do. My, my kids will probably claim it before I have a chance to use it. But once I figured out that it's a locker rug, that's where my mind went. I also picked up one pack of index cards and I like these because not only is it pink, pink's my favorite color if you guys have been around for any amount of time then you know but I love the fact that it has these little dividers in here I actually do use index cards um, quite a bit now the these are cheap they're not very great index cards so just keep that in mind they're thin um, most index cards are on like a thicker paper so these are pin yeah, they're pen. Good lord. <laughs> These are thin pages. Kind of like a notebook. They're a little bit thicker than a notebook, but just keep that in mind if you pick a pack of these up. But that doesn't bother me. So anyway, I picked up one pack of those. I also was really impressed with these. I actually got these for my shed to stick on the side of my um, workbench, my tool tool bench, workbench, whatever you like to call it. That's where I film and um, things magnetize to the side. So I also did a video on how I use the pegboard system on my craft table. So I will also link that in the cards in the right hand corner if you guys have not seen that video. Um, but these are magnetic locker box pockets. So you can stick that wherever, your fridge. I'm also gonna put one on my fridge. Um, that way I can keep the pens and stuff up away from Miss Isabella because somehow, some way, she always ends up with the pens. <sighs> so I actually picked up three of these and they have two different colors. One is pink. And then obviously the other one is teal. So I picked up two pink, one teal. So the next items that I picked up are along the lines of all those pop dot toys, whatever. They're really starting to come out with a ton of stuff in this pop dot design, I guess. I don't really know what you want to call it. But the first thing we picked up, and I had my girls with me, so... Of course, they were like, Mom, can I have this? Can I have that? And I'm like, just like, whatever, just throw it in. <laughs> so, this is a, let me take it out of the package. So, this is a Pop Snap Carabiner Zipper Case. So, I thought that was so fun to put, like, change in or, you know, whatever, um... 
thought that was really cute. So we picked up one of those. It's good for ASMR. Do you guys watch ASMR? I love, I'm addicted to it. I never watched it before like, I don't know, maybe two months ago. I really had no idea about the whole ASMR community. And ever since it came up on my feed on TikTok, like now I cannot get enough of ASMR. I love it and I cannot sleep without it every single night now. So that's what reminded me of that. But anyway and then the next two items that I picked up are pretty much the same items they're just a different shape but I did get one for each of my girls because they fight over everything so they are pop snap notebooks like what how stinking cool is that so stinking cute and my six-year-old loves to doodle and draw and have little notebooks and stuff like that. So I knew this would be perfect for her. Izzy is a little bit tricky because she's young. But if I get her in her chair and get her sitting down, she's fine. So anyway, how cool is that? Now, there's not many pages in the notebook, but whatever. What are you going to do for $1.25? Um, but anyway, I thought they were pretty cool and there are a ton of different colors i got some footage in the store so i will pop that up on the screen for you guys of all the different shaped pop snap notebooks so the next item that i picked up are these dry erase boards now i love how they do the colored themes like everything is matchy matchy i love to match so i can definitely appreciate that um, but they love to play with these. They wipe up really easily. So I picked up one of each for my girls. Um, and they have magnets on them. So again, if you want to put that on your fridge or, you know, wherever, then you're able to do that. Sorry. And then for me, because I want to do something with these, I picked up the gray one. So the gray and the pink were the only two colors that I saw at my store. If you guys have seen any different color dry erase boards, let me know what colors you guys have found. You know what, you guys? I was gonna spray paint this, but being as though it's gray, um, it would definitely go, but I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm just gonna leave this gray since that's already farmhouse. The next items that I picked up are composition notebooks. Now, before you guys start coming at me in the comments talking about you can get those cheaper, blah, 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 blah. I know this, you guys, okay? I know this. I am a shopaholic. I shop online, I shop at Walmart in the store. like. I'm a shopaholic, so I'm pretty aware of what the prices are. However, these designs were so stinking cute that I just couldn't pass them up. And I also liked this plastic material that it's, um, that is the cover. So that is why I picked up these. I picked up two. And my daughter can use these in school, so I picked them up mainly for her. But I do like to write stuff down for, like, you know, work and stuff I have going on. So um, I might keep one of them. But I picked up two in the plasticky cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, one is that pink that goes with the other um, items. And then, again, that teal that also goes with the other items. They also have, or I should say, they have 100 sheets each and they are 9.75 by 7.5 inches. That's the measurement. <laughs> uh, never a dull moment over here, y'all. And then the last two composition notebooks I picked up were this gorgeous little design. I love the colors and it's got glitter. 
and the glitter is not like falling off it's actually like um, glue glitter almost or glitter glue if you will so I definitely can appreciate that and then the last one that I picked up I love this saying I say it all the time it is a great day to do great things and actually I don't say great things I say it's a great day to have a great day or a good day to have a good day or whatever but I just love affirmations like this so that's why this one stole my heart it's got gold letters it's got the pink cover which by the way is really thick and sturdy so there's that I never had hot flashes with my girls one second I'm hot one second I'm cold I'm starving all the time. I'm tired all the time. <gasps> Woo! But I'll miss it when he's out. So I'm not complaining. Trust me. Okay, moving on. So I am really impressed that they're doing this whole matchy thing like I told you. But they are doing it with patterns. So look at this cute little caddy. We know this caddy before. We've, uh, we've seen these a million zillion times, but I've never seen them with the little designs on it. So they had, and they have like four different designs. I believe it's an avocado, um, dinosaurs, the rainbow, and I can't remember what the other thing is. And they have a bunch of products that match with these. So that is the little pencil case in that rainbow theme. And I'm not really too keen on this material. It definitely feels cheap, but here's the tag. I've never seen that brand before. So there is the brand. Sorry, y'all. I had to get me a little snack and I had to turn my air on because I was about to die. I get these from Dollar Tree. This is like my weakness right now. <gasps> Sour, bright crawlers. Love them so much. Thank God for ketones for food freedom. <laughs> if you guys want any information on how I recently lost 60 pounds in six months, shoot me a message on Facebook that says ketones. I will get you guys all set up with information and my Facebook link is in the description box below and I will also leave it in the pinned comment for you guys. So anyway, moving on, um, I picked up one of these little cups again along that same matchy matchy and this is a good size cup too, pencil holder. I said cup. It's a pencil holder, so. They also have lunch boxes that match, you guys. Like, what? Now, again, they're cheap. They're not the best lunch boxes. And I did not find any with the rainbow on it. However, I did see the other three designs. So I don't know if maybe just somebody bought up all the rainbow one or what. I don't know. Let me open it for you guys. It is insulated on the inside. So that's cool. There you go. How cute is that? For $1.25, I think that's a steal. Especially because it's insulated in the inside. So I did pick up one of those. And then the last matchy matchy item that goes with the rainbow theme that I picked up is this book bin. I love these for so many different things. I, didn't, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can use these to um, store your Tupperware lids and uh, it kind of keeps it nice and organized but I do have another idea in mind for this so I picked up one of those
And then I also picked up one letter tray. Um, it did come in pink and teal, I believe. So like this kind of stuff that was all with like the locker stuff. They also had a ton of new locker stuff, stuff you can put pictures in. But I was really, really impressed with the amount of like locker decor and locker items that they had. The next item that I picked up are these um, zebra pencils. And I thought they were super cool because at first I thought that they were regular pencils, but come to find out they're actually mechanical pencils. And I just love stuff like that. So I picked up one pack of those. I'll probably split these with my daughter. And then for their dry erase boards and my dry erase board, I did go ahead and pick up different colored dry erase markers. Um, I picked up two packs of just the basic color colors. And then I also picked up one pack of the colorful markers. Along the lines of pens and stuff like that, um, I am a sucker for any type of fine point pen, rather it's a ballpoint or a felt tip. I'm just like a pen freak. I love pens. I don't know what it is about it. If you guys are a pen freak, office supply freak as well, let me know down in the comments um, because I'm very much that person. But these are the Optimus brand that Dollar Tree carries and they are uh, two felt tip pens assorted ink fine point and the only colors that I saw were these ones that I picked up so if you guys have seen like more colors than this let me know and I'll be on the hunt for them so I picked up the like blue teal the pink and purple, and then the purple and the purple. <laughs> or I guess it's like periwinkle. I don't know. Purple and periwinkle. Who knows? I only picked up one of each of those. Okay, guys, that was it for all of the school supplies and office supplies. Now I'm going to show you the stickers that I picked up. I only picked up a couple packs because um, all the other stuff I have and are not new, but I have not seen these yet. So they are really paying attention to us. I, I always, always say that because just the stuff that they end up coming out with is a lot of like the stuff that we do or use or whatever in the Dollar Tree DIY community. So, so it says like, this is us, bless this house home the story of who we are so it's just a bunch of like farmhouse sayings with greenery so love that and then the next one i picked up pretty much same thing different designs
Okay guys, that is pretty much it for this haul. The last item that I picked up is this new Palmolive Spray Away Quickly Dissolves Stuck on Grease. I have never seen this before um, and since moving into my new house and it's definitely a change going from hand washing your dishes all the time to putting them in a dishwasher and I just think it's a little silly how you kind of have to wash your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher anyway so it kind of confuses me a little bit on like kind of what is the point of a dishwasher I mean I understand I'm very grateful for my dishwasher I do use it like almost every single night but I'm just saying it's a little silly that you have to wash the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher so anyway I grabbed this to see if this would help my calls I use my air fryer a lot so I'm always scrubbing that grate that's on the inside of it so I will let you guys know if this is worth the dollar twenty five or if you should just save your money and um, grab something else so okay you guys that was it for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed all the DIYs that I showed you as well and I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well if they just want to hang and chat I would love that um, again my big goal before this baby boy is born in October is a hundred K um, it seems really really hard to get there but I know that with a lot of hard work and dedication and your help I know that we can get there together so guys don't forget if you guys need ketone info check the pinned comment check the description box below I would love to help you guys feel better again that's the only reason I do it um, is to help you guys so with all that being said thank you so much for hanging out with me today if nobody has told you today you're absolutely stunning you are gorgeous girlfriend you are worthy you can do anything you set your mind to I love you guys so much I'll catch you in the next one bye Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.